lost off his charge, gang. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, um... <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Wasn't expecting it. Uh, caught me off guard. Listen, um, I'm going to say this. Um, I predicted that uh, David Adelaide would win. I predicted that he win by knockout. Um, Adelaide tried the intimidating factor. Uh, I thought that shit would work. It didn't work. Not only did it not work, um, I told you, I told you, uh, Adelaide act like a, a dude out of South Dallas. He he, very thuggish, rugged, bonus. Uh, yeah, he thugged out. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say this: uh, that thuggish shit didn't work, bro. Um, that tough shit, it didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, I completely underestimated Fabio Warley. I knew he was a knockout artist. I knew that. I knew he had power, but I questioned him. I questioned his heart. I questioned his heart. I thought he was going to fall. I was completely wrong. Um, yeah, I was completely wrong. Uh, Fabio Warley got some. Fabio Warley can fight. Not only can he fight, he got a high ring IQ. I, under, I underestimated the speed of Fabio Warley. I underestimated the speed and the ring IQ and the calm. Bro, how calm he was. He calmly, systematically broke uh, Adelaide down. He systematically broke him down. Listen, um, you know, Warley, let me tell you something. Let me say this to Adelaide. Adelaide, for one, you need a strength and conditioning coach. You need to come in a little lighter. Or that shit, that, that, that big shit ain't working for you because you gas out. Um, you gas out in every fight, but this this fight was different. You gassed out, but also the weight, but also what it went to your body. He beat your body up. You never blocked one body shot. He beat your body in. Also, he was quicker though. He was quicker and slicker than you. It's a lot of shit, bro. He gave you a boxing lesson today. But uh, Adelaide is who he is, though. He ain't soft. He's not soft, and I respect the fact. That you uh, showed them respect after the fight, even though y'all didn't like each other. That's why I say uh, boxing is different. Um, that's that's the one thing I love the most about boxing. Um, <laughs> besides black fighter, but the fact that you can damn near hate a motherfucker, and after that fight, bro, you have no choice but to respect him. So um, you call him for the rematch. Uh, that's what's up. You know, uh, you got the spirit of a fighter. You a fighter. Uh, Wally just better than you, bro. Wall is better. The speed, the speed gave you hell. Uh, and he out jabbed you. Uh, you couldn't land that left hook all night. Uh, you landed, you landed some good shots, but I was shocked that Wally took him. I was shocked that the punches Wally took. I thought Wall, I thought you would take Wally's punches better than he would take yours, but it was the other way around. Wally got a chin, and I questioned that about Wally. I, I questioned it. Because I looked at that coffee fight and I was like, man, they stopped that fight way too early. But um, looking at this fight, I think the stoppage was definitely too early. But I see the fact that I don't argue it because you beat him every round. Warley beat him every single round. Adelaide had no answer. He's better. He's better. And what fucked um, Warley up the most, I mean, what fucked Adelaide up the most is that he seen Wally with tough. It was a look somewhere. I think it's when he hurt your eye. You looked at him and you had a bewildered look. You looked at him like he was a different person. You looked at him like he had an alien head or some shit. You was confused because you was shocked at the sturdiness of Wally. That motherfucker sturdy, bro. I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to get off this motherfucker. Because uh, I'm going to watch this little main event Because I got a lot of shit to say That don't even got to do with the main All this shit that's going on <laughs> Little baby out there performing and shit All this little shit It's a lot of shit I got to say about this fight But uh, yeah, I'm going to go on and uh, check it out And uh, talk some shit after it's over uh, I got a lot of shit to talk about this 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 whole event You know um, 
you know, I, I got a lot of shit. I'm gonna save it for that though. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna waste it on this video. I'm just gonna talk boxing on this video. But it's gonna be a lot of shit I got to say. So uh, stay tuned. I got a lot of shit to say about this mega event in Saudi Arabia. I got a lot of shit. To say. I got a lot of shit to say about Tim Bradley. I got a whole lot of shit to say about Mark Kriegel and a lot of oh, more motherfuckers. But anyway, listen, Fabio Wally, you better not thought you very good. I'm telling you the fight I want to see you in. Um, the perfect fight for you because I'm I'm getting tired of uh foreign fighters thinking that uh the smoke ain't in America the smoke is in America, bro. And that's in any division. Uh, you damn near can't be great until you come to America. <laughs> A lot of people don't want to admit that shit. Uh, the sauce is over here, bro. Everybody got their own little mixture, but the sauce. Uh, this sauce will forever remain in America. <laughs> so, I'm telling you, bro. Jared Anderson is the perfect fight for you. Perfect. And you can win. I, I look at... Because before this fight, I would have never said uh, uh, you beat Jared Anderson. You can win, bro. That's a 50-50 fight. Jared Anderson versus uh, Fabio Wall is a perfect fight. I wouldn't mind the F.L. Jogba fight. It's cool. But Jared Anderson is a great fight for you. Frank Sanchez is a great fight for you. Man, you got it's some good fights for you out there. You dangerous. And the speed, your speed is dangerous. I didn't know you was that fast. I didn't know you and and you and you're aggressive. I, I I love it. I love it. I like Fabio Wally. I, I become a fan of Fabio Wally. That motherfucker can fight. That motherfucker can fight. And when I seen that you was a dog, because you took some big shots and you weren't afraid to mix it up. Whenever Adelaide wanted to mix it up, you you didn't have no problem fighting on the inside. But I'm telling you right now, bro. Jared Anderson is a fight for you. Um, you'll beat the shit out of Daniel Dubois. You'll beat the shit out of him. You'll beat the shit out of uh, Daniel Dubois. Um, Joyce going through some shit, you know. I had high hopes for uh, Joyce, but he just ran into a bad style. And Zane, I'm going to tell you who I like for you to fight. That big white boy, they keep promoting. <laughs> that, top right. that motherfucker, he looked like a white boy from the 1700s. Uh yeah, back when we had giants and shit. I don't know that white boy. He about six seven, and you, you know what? They keep putting him in there with old ass sloppy black fighters, and he knock him out in the first round. I can't think of this white boy name, but it's it's a Slovakia name. But I'd like to see you against him. <laughs> if you could stay out the way of them sledgehammer ass punches, you'll beat the shit out of him. But I ain't gonna lie, that big old boy, that boy can hit. Uh, but he he has no fundamentals or nothing. But they top rank promoting the shit out of him. And he's very dangerous if he hits you, but I like to see you in a fight like that. Because at this one point, bro, you don't need to be moved slow. You're coming off the biggest win of your career. It's a very uh, well-deserved win. It's a big win. But, bro, I want to see you move forward. I want to see... Maybe Dylan White. But Dylan, bro... Dylan, Dylan so chinny at this point, bro. I, I got you stopping him. I don't want to see you with Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is just... It, it's about over for him. Um... Oh shit That goddamn big old boy Yeah I might have to make a video about that mother What's that motherfucker name The one that just fought Carlos Tackle Ooh that big strong show That that's a, that motherfucker strong That motherfucker that's strong That motherfucker probably don't lift no weights or nothing He was just born that way That motherfucker was just born so That motherfucker got He don't know his own strength Yeah But anyway uh yeah, that motherfucker could pick up a motor. <laughs> That's it. But I'm telling you, what's that motherfucker? I can't think of his name. He he just knocked out Tackham. That would be a hell of a fight for you. Um, You got some fights out there, bro. Uh, I'm very excited to see the uh, rest of your career. Uh, Adelaide, you still can do some things, but I don't think you'll ever be better than Wally. I've just seen too much. And you said your legs was something was wrong. I don't know, bro, but you're still too stiff and robotic-ish to fuck with Wally, bro. You need to lose some weight. You need a strength and conditioning coach. You cannot fight for 12 rounds. You ain't going to knock everybody out, and we've seen that tonight. <laughs> so, you need a strength and conditioning coach to where if you need to go 12, you need to be able to go there, bro. You are not in condition to go 12 rounds. So, I'm just telling you, bro, uh, work on your shit. It's a lesson learned. I'm glad that y'all showed each other respect. Um, Wally, Wally is who he say he is. Wally can become heavyweight, future heavyweight champion. Wally can become a future heavyweight champion. He good. He good. And what impressed me the most, Wally, it ain't your skills. It ain't the ring IQ. With all that impressed me. I just, it's the shit I look for, bro. You got heart. You, you control aggression, bro. 
You a dog. Wally a dog. That shit ain't cap. I thought it was cap, bro. I have no problem admitting Wally. You know, and I don't know. You know, I know you're a mixed breed. I don't know if you claim black. I told you. <laughs> these new brick mixed breeds, they don't claim. Because mixed breeds and lights, they used to always claim black. And they, you know, they they act a damn fool growing up because they wanted to prove they was black. But I told you, new mixed breeds, they don't claim. They claim three different cultures. They finna, they finna create a whole nother race after a while. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Fabio Wally, you the truth, you the goods. I'm telling you that Jared Anderson fight, and I can't even pick a winner right now. Because Jared Anderson is very aggressive. He's athletic. He got power. But when he feel your power, he, he can't be as aggressive. Your power is different. And it's not that you got power, but it's speed coming, bro. Kind of like how Wilder got the speed with it. You know, Wilder not heavy handed. He got speed and just dynamite behind. It's the speed too, though. You got speed with that shit, bro. You got you might have the fastest uh, hands of any heavyweight. You might got the fastest hand speed of any heavyweight boxing right now. You got very fast hands, and you tall, you long. I love the jab. You were snapping his head back But anyway let me go and watch this uh, fight So I can talk some shit But uh, shot Wally I, res I respect you bro And I was wrong about it I thought you was soft No, nah, I really did It's a lot of fighters I think soft But I thought you was soft That shit was That shit cap That shit was cap Nah bro He ain't soft And I'm telling you That's what shocked Adelaide Adelaide thought he was going to bully him Adelaide really thought Wally was soft And it shocked him when he found out he wasn't and not only was he not soft, he walked your ass down, bro. Motherfucker dog, bro. You get my respect for that. But yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles Jack. With that, I'm out.